A-C-Y. KTSA News Time 539. Jack Riccardi on San Antonio's 550 and 1071 KTSA. Joining us now in the KTSA Connecticut Quality Water Softeners Newsmaker Line is the current land commissioner and one of the Republican candidates for Attorney General George P. Bush. Commissioner, good afternoon. Thanks for coming on with us. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Texas Monthly, as I'm sure you know, um, just did a story about the Bush dynasty and said it's hanging on by a thread. Are you the candidate of a dynasty? Well, actually, uh, Jack, to be honest with you, I don't read my own media anymore, so that's news to me. Um, that's probably good. Texans, <laughs> uh, Texans, you know, know me as my record as land commissioner, and they know that I'm my own man that stands in my own two feet and wear my own boots. Uh, I can put them on myself as well. Um, and I'm going to have to present my own ideas, and I'm going to be the one that's going to take the call late at night, uh, whether it's a law enforcement official that gets shot in the line of duty, and regretfully we had two more just this morning in Katy, or responding to the human trafficking and fentanyl crisis that we're seeing across our poorest borders. And, and that's what my campaign is about, is talking about why I need to be hired by the people of Texas because we're not getting the service we so need out of our current attorney general. I noticed that um, a lot of the focus is on, um, obviously, the scandals and the allegations against Ken Paxton. Um, and I think Republicans are doing a good job of convincing voters that the current Republican attorney general may not be the right man for the job. Do you share the concern of some of the other candidates that if he is renominated, Republicans will lose that position? I do. You know, AOC was just actually in your fair city this past weekend talking about abortion on demand, taking your guns and uh, forcing the Green New Deal down our throats. And, and, you know, she said Texas will eventually turn blue. Well, uh, I couldn't disagree more, but she's partially right. If we nominate somebody like Ken with bribery, corruption charges, uh, I guarantee you the Biden DOJ will drop some federal indictments on, on bribery, corruption charges heading into the fall, which is so much liability that we're putting on the table there. And, and I don't think it's a risk we're taking as Republicans because this would be their first statewide office in close to 30 years. So um, that's what we've been trying to tell people. And, and the polling is showing that a majority of Republicans uh, don't trust him to uh, to hold the mantle for the Republican Party. There's too much at stake. I noticed in one of your TV ads, you were on the border, you were talking about the border wall. Um, how is that a function or a responsibility of the attorney general's job? Well, regretfully, the federal government's not doing their job. In fact, Biden is doing whatever he can to not secure our border. And Secretary Mayorkas uh, continues to have the back shown to him by law enforcement when he comes to the Texas border. And I, don't get me started on Kamala Harris. She doesn't come down even though she's our borders are. Uh, so that means Texans are going to have to step up. And so as land commissioner, I'm constructing the Texas wall. I'm actually in the courthouse against the Biden administration. As AG, what you can do is investigate, collect evidence, and bring suits against the federal government. But one thing, I, and I'm the only candidate to propose this, is to forward deploy a mobile prosecution unit to help governors uh, Operation Lone Star effort, which is arresting illegals based upon state criminal trespassing laws, since we can't arrest based upon federal immigration law uh, as state officials. So... Uh, I have a very proactive and a very specific plan to address the border crisis, whether it is continuing to build the Texas wall, but also helping Governor Abbott out and our honorable DPS officials that are keeping the watch every single day while Border Patrol is overwhelmed with, what, 2 million apprehensions on an annual basis. Now, in looking at this race, we see Ken Paxton touting his Donald Trump endorsement, Louis Gomer touting his close friendship with and uh, Trump's admiration for him. So what is your message to Trump voters uh, about George P. Bush? What do they need to know about you? Well, if you care about America first policies or if you like Texas first ideas, you need to nominate me because, as we talked about before, if Ken is nominated, then the Democrat wins, and that's contrary to what we want. You get an AOC-style Democrat on the other side. And by the way, two of the candidates that are in this race on the other side are suing the state of Texas for arresting under criminal trespassing law. That's the philosophy that they're bringing to the table. So I'm a proven vote-getter against Democrats. I was the highest vote-getter 
in 2014 and the second highest in 2018. So I'm in this not to trash fellow Republicans. I'm in this to, to win this against Democrats. President Trump and I continue to maintain a positive relationship. I continue to subscribe to his ideas. They were great for Texas. But this comes up down to who can beat the Democrat. What is the best football team we can put on the field heading into the fall? All right. Land Commissioner George P. Bush on our KTSA Kinetico Quality Water Softeners Newsmaker Line. I hope you'll come back with us again, and I appreciate the time very much tonight. You got it. All right, Commissioner, thank you. We're going to get to a look at KTSA Time Saver Traffic. We're going to continue to round up candidates in these key races here on KTSA, so stay tuned in the days ahead. We'll have more of that on 550 and 1071 KTSA. You know, when it comes to uh, spending time in the backyard, whether it's on the patio or the deck, um, if that's your favorite place to be, if getting back to the backyard is what gets you through the day, gets you through the traffic, gets you through all that crazy driving we were talking about, then you're going to love Jeff's Backyard. Jeff's Backyard is the store for you. It's the store with with grills and cookers and smokers and propane and pellets and charcoal and all the different kinds of wood that people swear by when they do whatever it is they do. And then when you um, think about uh, not so much replacing a grill, but just adding to your grilling repertoire, you go to Jeff's Backyard, not only do they have the product, they have the people. You can talk to people who use the same products they sell and can tell you firsthand about something you're considering adding or or buying. And also, while you're at Jeff's Backyard, I urge you to check out the store within a store. It's Crack and Chains Disc Golf. If your family's already into disc golf, you're going to love Crack and Chains. And if you've never heard of disc golf, tell them that, and they will sell you on it. You will get excited about one of the fastest-growing recreational sports in America, disc golf. Crack and Chains and Jeff's Backyard is at 435 West Nakoma. It's right where Nakoma.